Hey guys, it's July 22nd, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube, and we're right in the middle of Jolly July, which is super exciting, so I have lots of pieces to show you. I wanted to show you, if you haven't seen Mistletoe Lane, our third release of the five-part series released, and um, you can see this gigantic house. It took forever to stitch. Um, but I have seen that several of you have finished the house, so that's super exciting. And I did see someone who made a gingerbread house, so they made it more like two tones of brown, which was totally awesome. I saw that this morning, so great job. And I'm just gonna kind of roll into Jolly July. Um, Jolly July is a collaboration between us, which is Fat Quarter Shop, and Priscilla and Chelsea at the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. And um, we just stitch on Christmas stuff in July. So I'm gonna show you what I got done this week. Um, it's a lot. So the very first day was the 15th and I worked on Kringles and it took me a couple of days. There was a lot of start and stop. So we have zoomed in the camera a little bit for you guys. So you can see a little bit closer. So there was just a lot of start and stop and it took me quite a bit. Let's see, it took me about five and a half hours. This is what I'm starting today, and it's pretty big and pretty intense. So I'll probably finish half of it today. I probably won't finish the entire thing today, but it's really pretty. Um, my plan is um, to finish this one this week, this one next week, and then I'm gonna take a long break. Um, I love this pattern. It has a lot of really fine detail, which is really um, something I haven't really done before. And I think it's beautiful, but I do need a break. Um, so that is my first day. And I kept losing my needle on this one, so I put an extra needle out here. So I hope I don't poke myself. So that is the first day. The second day I worked on Jolly St. Nick, and this is the one that I got a little bit ahead on. This one is by Priscilla and Chelsea, Stitching with Housewives. So on here, I have kind of the bottom done and the cup. I always try to do the white first. So tomorrow, I will probably go ahead and finish um, his shirt, his beard, and then the Rudolph, and then probably just leave a tiny bit for the last week so that I can actually finish. And um, this didn't take me too long. It only took me about three and a half hours. I think this one's really cute. So that was my second day. My third day was Mistletoe Lane, and it took me 14 hours. So, this really um, was kind of what took up most of my week. So there's my house, and it's beautiful, but it is definitely 14 hours. So, super exciting. Release four is right here. It comes out this Friday, and it's tiny. So if you felt frustrated that you didn't finish your house, no big deal. You're going to have plenty of time to do it this week. And I love it. Uh, I love the, I don't know, I love just the wreath and everything about it. So what I did, the way I tackled it was I did all of the white in the roof first, filled in the red. And then I did all of the light pink. I filled in the little bricks. And then I came back, did all the whites and then all the reds. And then I did all the whites here first also. So when I was working on this, I really did all of my whites before I introduced the reds so that my red would not get into my white because I haven't been able to figure out how to not um, get them to kind of shred into each other. So I'm very excited because this one is almost done. And then the very next one is super exciting. It is the third ornament and the fourth series. So there's gonna be four of these ornaments. This is called Mary Mrs. Claus by Priscilla and Chelsea of Stitching with the Housewives. And here she is. She's cute, right? And then this is the last, the other two that I've done. Let's see. So, um, you can see these two go together, so I'm assuming the next one will kind of be similar to this one, and then I'm gonna send them to Priscilla. Now, if you wanna know how to finish these into an ornament, 
Priscilla and Chelsea did a video. They released it this week and they show you exactly how you can finish it and turn it into an ornament. All you need is some sticky board, hot glue gun, and a little bit of ribbon. Um, but I did text Priscilla and say, oh, do I have to do it myself now that you did a video? Because <laughs> I don't like to finish stuff. And this is my dog, Piggy. Piggy. Oh my gosh. So that's super exciting. So then they will have another one this Friday. So check back Friday. Those, all of those are PDFs available on our site. And so there will be the last one will be coming out this Friday. Then I worked on Snow Village, and it feels really good <laughs> to be this far. I only have one left. This took me nine hours. So um, the two houses really kind of killed me this week. They were just a lot. And it kind of looks funny here because there's no words on it yet. But my plan is I decided that I would, when the part 11, which is the last part, I'm going to go ahead and finish that get all the back stitching done, French knots, send it to the framer, and at least this one will be done for this Christmas, and then I'm not sure about Kringles. But I do wanna get this one finished. Um, all of the little houses and stands have words on them, and I didn't, and then there's like some, some little banner stuff here that's detailed. Um, I'm gonna do it kinda of all at the end, cause I don't trust myself to keep the tension throughout the same. So this one is super exciting and I really, when I first started working with this fabric, I got frustrated with it because the holes are so small, but now that I've been doing it, I actually really like it and I think I have a plan for use, making another project on this in 2021. So sometimes you gotta just stick it out. So I'm excited and these, I picked my own colors. This is by Country Cottage Needleworks and um i just kind of keep all of them in this bag that way when i go back i'll have all the information for the um, back stitch and then the last two days was easy so this is christmas typography by pine mountain designs and i'm doing one row each each day that I pick. So this was super easy. It took an hour. So easy. And then yesterday, this one took like a little, about two and a half, three hours. So um, I just have a couple more rows. So let's see. We've got four more rows. Oh, three more rows. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be done. So when I come back next week, this one will be done. And I think I'm going to frame this one. I'm not really sure. Um, it's kind of big. So I kind of feel like maybe I should frame it and put glass in it so my kids don't ruin it. <clears throat> um, so that's my Jolly July. And um, this is the bitty board that uh, Lori Holt has with Riley Blake. And I just put my leftover thread. What I did on this one, I wasn't really sure how many skeins you needed. So I just started with two of each color. And then um, I keep these little clover wonder clips on the edge so that when I'm stitching, when I do the rows, <clears throat> I start there and then I just kind of roll my fabric so that I can keep going and it stays out of the way and I just clip it kind of at the top and the bottom so I don't clip my stitches. So that's why I have these little wonder clips on here so it saves me some time. So that is my Jolly July. That's a ton of stitching. Um, that was just um, almost, I want to say almost too much. Um, a little bit, I was a little overachieving for last week. So maybe next time I won't do as much. All right, we have a few questions that okay. have been coming in here uh, from Cross STX4. Where do you get the bag for Jolly St. Nick? I want to get one. Um... Jolly Saint Nick. No. Nope. Sorry, we're finding it. We're going back through the pile. There okay, we go. So this one, um, do y'all have the info? Yes. It, uh, Is she's on Instagram. It's Christine. Yes. yes. So uh, Crosshatch. Crosshatch quilts. Yeah. So um, yeah, we'll have to link to her. So I bought, I actually didn't buy this. Lori bought it for me. Yes. And she sells them. 
so you can find her on Instagram. She has her Instagram is, we'll have to comment in there exactly her name so you can find her. Her Instagram is hidden so that you have to friend request her. And then she'll show bags and you can, um, she also has Etsy so you can get it off Etsy. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, next question is from Diane Kovar. I'm new to cross stitch. How does one join uh, one of the stitch clubs? Um, you just go online and click the buttons. Yeah. And then you just uh, check out. Um, and then there should be notes on, kind of depends which club, if you get past items or not. Um, but yeah, you just sign up online right. at Fat Quarter Shop. <laughs> And then uh, Gwen Smith had said, uh, I can't get around it. Snow Village is my favorite. Uh, so I was going to ask everyone to comment below what your favorite uh, project that Kimberly worked on for Jolly July is, or is working on for Jolly Yes, July is. and what I have liked about that fabric is it's smaller. So I feel like if I would have done it on, like, maybe, say, a 14 count or 25 count, it just would have been so big. It would have been unmanageable. Um but it has definitely, I've never done anything that intense or, I mean, gosh, it's just a lot. Um, but it's so pretty. I'm so glad that um, I kind of pushed myself to get through it because it motivates me to get part 11 done. I am, I will tell you, I'm very nervous about doing all the backstitch and the French knots. Super nervous about that. Um, I'm not great at it. So, um, you know, sometimes if you're not great at something, you get a little bit of anxiety, but I'm a little bit nervous about having to do that uh, and Lori Holt said uh, it's Christy from at crosshatch quilts makes the bags she does not have an Etsy she sells them on her Instagram okay well there you go yeah so if you'd like to get one go to her Instagram um, and then from Jess Burler I love your project bag so much is there a pattern available for them somewhere so let me see I'll show you the um, can I see the bags I'm gonna go through every bag so that I can get all the answers since yes. there's so many questions thank you and um, this is Chrissy from Crosshatch Quilts on Instagram. This you can purchase at Fat Quarter Shop if it's still in stock. I actually don't even know if it's in stock still. This was a bag that went with Mistletoe Lane, which is right here. Mm -hmm. So we sell this one. I purchased this one from Dot Dot Goose Designs on Etsy. We sold this. I'm not sure if they're still in stock or not. They're not in stock, they're sold out. This is Bloomtopia, it was our charity event for um, this year. We will make the same exact bag with a different logo and a different um, colored zipper for next year's charity. This is my pug bag, so you can see my little, the pugs inside. I bought this from Dot Dot Goose Designs on Etsy. And this is a pattern from Hands On Design called stitch actually don't know the name of it stitch something um stitch i don't remember but it's hands-on design and um, i used her pattern i changed the colors and um that is a pattern that you can buy at that corner shop well, we'll look up the name of it i can't remember off the top of my head what the name of it is hmm. and then uh we do have a tutorial on the quilting channel for something similar the whip project bag yeah we have a whip project bag which is similar and we also on a live stream I talked through this one and how I made it different than the designers. So um, you could find that. We'd have to find the link to it. Okay. And then from Nadine Merrick, uh, question, the Fat Quarter Shop offers a cross-stitch alphabet for download but doesn't show the font. How I'm going to go over it in a minute. Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, yes, I have more questions, but I can save those for later. Okay, awesome. So I want to show you... Cheryl's Jolly July. So Cheryl also worked on Jolly Claws, which was the first ornament. And look how pretty he is. So she worked on a 32 count vintage country mocha Lugana and called for floss. And she did the same thing I did where she changed the boots to black and she did the lettering like that J, L and Y are red and white. And then the O and the L are green and white. So I think she's gonna do all four of them. So that's really pretty. So that is hers. And then she also worked on Jolly July Noah's Christmas Arc 6. Look how beautiful that is. It's so pretty. So um, let's see, she stitched on 32 count Lugana from her stash. 
and um, she just kind of mixed up some floss. She used some DMC and some fancy floss. So that's really pretty. And then in the middle of Jolly July, she added one more thing. This is a brand new book or booklet called Land That I Love from Teresa Kogut. It is called CW Samplers, Land That I Love. And look how beautiful this is. So she is stitching on 32 count Legacy Lugana from Picture This Plus. We have it on order, um, so it'll come soon. And she's just using a mix of floss for this, but look how beautiful it is. So she's got the A, B, and you can see the alphabet, but this is a lot to get done. I think it's gonna be beautiful when she's done. Really pretty. And then we have Terry's pieces. She is working on, for Jolly July, she's working on Vintage Christmas Sampler by Lori Holt, and we've shown her previous ones, and she's gonna make all of these into ornaments. She is stitching on 32 count Belfast, and she's using the, the DMC, she's using DMC, she's not using the called for DMC. And she, like you can see on the heart, there were four colors used, and she used one. So you know, it's a fun way to change up your stuff. And then we also have, for Mistletoe Lane, we have Christina's piece, and she is stitching on Lori Holt's 10 count chalk, it's called Blackboard Vintage Cloth, and um, she almost has her house all the way done. She just has the white part left, and um, she is working and using her cross-stitch journal, and then it's great because she's putting all her notes, so if she goes back and she wants to remember what she did, it's all right there. And she is using Cosmo four strands. So that is super pretty. So let me know if um, if y'all have any questions on any of that, and then I'm gonna kind of move on to other stuff. Yes. All right. Question from before from Wisco Jean: How many total hours did you spend in one snow village? So on the um, the little can I have my snow village? The, there's a difference. Um, all the ones that are houses take about eight or nine hours. Mm -hmm. So, um, so if you look right here, these take about nine hours, all the houses. And then on the edge, these little stands, they take less time they take about six hours. So the corners took about six hours and each of the houses took about eight or nine hours. Uh, lots of people are saying they love how it, uh, it looks on the blackboard, the 10 count. Yes, and so that's great. It's, it's fun to really take anything that you like and make it match your house. Don't feel like you buy a pattern, you have to use that exact same floss. Uh, make it match your house because you're more likely, like Christina, I'm sure it matches her house, mm -hmm. and she's gonna be more likely to display it mm -hmm. because she has customized it and really made it her own and there's not gonna be another one out there that's exactly the same. Mm -hmm. uh, from Gourmet Law, Love Snow Village, waiting to hear from FQS when the kit will be available. So we're not gonna do a kit on that. What we're doing on that is we're gonna do a full pattern set. So. Part 11 should be arriving in about two weeks. Once that comes in, we will do a pattern set. We do have a Kimberly's DMC floss set that matches my colors. And I think we have some in stock. If not, we should have more in stock any day because we did just get a lot of DMC shipments and we're getting a couple more. And then the fabric um, is, I can tell you the fabric and you can just buy the, the fabric separately. It is SKU 3793-7349. It's 18 count white petty point on gray. So I'm gonna show you, we had some questions last week. So I'm gonna kind of show you that. So last week we had some questions on the stitch cards. So on the stitch cards, We have done these in the past, A, B, C, and D. 
and there's also an E. And so on these, we had asked for, people had asked for a club. And so we started a new club and it's gonna be once a quarter. It's gonna start in September. So none of these will be included. You would have to just go buy these um, now. And then as you will just be able to collect them all. And I'm gonna show you a tease. So these are gonna be the colors used in the next set. And this is the fabric that we used. So if you can guess, you can kind of see what kind of colors they're not showing true to the camera today, but um, I think we're gonna have to change the the coloring. But we we tried to zoom in, and so when we zoomed in, the color's a little bit off. But this is gonna be the next set. So it's a tease. So this is a brand new club. We would love for you to sign up. Lori Holt is the designer, and so going forward, you can be in the club and collect those each time. And then I wanted to show you a tease of the next Prim Stitch series. So we have two pop-ups. So this is part two. So if you're in our Prim Stitch series, you will get this next month. It ships on the fifth of the month. This is part two. Lori um, framed it for me. It looks beautiful. She used the Blossom paint. We have it on order. It's her Chalky Chicks paint. She used prim fabric for the two pieces and her vintage, her natural lace. And so that's the first picture. And then this is a picture of Lori's piece and Lori's making it all in one big piece. And that is, um, so you can take the, um, you can either make these individually, just like this, or you can put them just like she showed you in this. And this is free, you can download it on our site. And another thing I wanted to show you from this is, we did get the Ada in stock. Ooh. So I'm gonna pull this out. This is as close as we could get. I think it's pretty close, it's lighter. It's Cafe Mocha Country French 14 count from Wichel and we, we're cutting it, we bought it on a bolt and we're cutting it to 25 by 36. And so when you follow the cutting diagram, it would be different because our cutting diagram is for 25 counts. So you would have to do the math on the 14 count. Um, I wouldn't, um, it's different than this because this is for the Lori Holt fabric, which is 25 count, but we did get this in stock. Super exciting and that's as close as we could get. Um, it's just a little bit lighter, but it's very close and I don't think you would even notice the difference so let me know if you have any questions on any of the prim stuff before we go on uh, first, a very nice comment from Cindy Schrader. My first day to watch Floss Tube. Oh my goodness, there are not enough hours in the day for Kimberly to do all of that, plus all the quilting. She is a Wonder Woman. Oh, thanks. Totally well, this agree. week, um, this week I didn't quilt at all. My air conditioner's broke, and so in that quilting room, I have not even. I won't even walk in that room. It's so hot. But this morning, I'm so excited. Seven ten, they rang the doorbell to fix the AC because it's going to take all day. So I'm so excited when I go home. I think it's probably, because it's so hot, it's probably gonna take like a day or two to cool the house down. We closed like all the windows and everything, but I'm so excited that it's gonna get fixed today. Oh man, that is very exciting. Yeah, I know when they rang the doorbell, Kevin was like, they're really early. I'm like, I don't care, let them in. <laughs> and so it's like trying to dry my hair really fast. That's hilarious. Um, from Sandy Rux, is it too late to join the Prim Stitch Club? No, and if you sign up today, you will get part one, and you will get this printed also. This comes in it, and so you will get part one, and then you will just get all of them. And if you sign up in like three months, you'll get the past months. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to sell those as a PDF until the entire series is finished. Mm -hmm. uh, from Stephanie Metz, uh, so, S-E-W, dot, dot, dot. Will the thread set and fabric come with the club? No. Okay. So really on cross stitch, we're not really doing kits. We're doing everything kind of piecemeal because we have found that in cross stitch, everyone is very particular about what they want to use, whether they want to use DMC or fancy floss, whether they want to use Ada or 25 count or a linen. Um, everyone is very particular about what they want. So it's not like a quilt kit where everything is very the same. So we do everything kind of piecemeal. 
and we found that that works best and people are happier and that's what we want you to be is happier uh, from Iris Rivera, for the prim, if you use 14 count, will it be bigger or smaller? Bigger. Uh, and then we have a few uh, very nice comments here uh, from Becky B. I have about 10 Bloomtopia bags. They're rugged, great for storing Lori Holtz, plastic templates, the sharp points on stars, etc. Doesn't harm the bags. Yes, those bags are awesome. That's why when we, we designed the charity, so just to give you an update on our charity, we have raised um, 56000 plus 20000 from Kevin and I and 10000 from Moda, so that is 86000 We have designed, which means Jocelyn, I haven't done anything. Jocelyn designed the quilt and the cross stitch for next year. Um, on the quilt, um, we have the fabric picked and everything, but on the cross stitch, we have to, um, we're going to compare and pick different thread sets to go with it. And this year we're gonna do a DMC pack and a Weeks Dye Works pack, but we have not picked the thread yet. Uh, and then the next very nice comment from Gail Stale, Cheryl does such a great, great work. Yes, she does. And she is amazing. And she, I don't know how she sees those holes. Every time I see her work, I think, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, and then question from Laura Whitfield. So will it start with set E? Yes. And from Elizabeth Glenbaki, how do you keep track of how much time you spend on a project? Do you set aside a certain amount of time per project? So I use this little app on my phone. It's just called Time Tracker. And I just hit the button and I and then I write it down in my journal. And the reason I do that is so that it can help me in the future so that I know, okay, I need this many hours. And uh, I just have to really stay diligent. But you know, when I'm here at work, I do use that time to stitch because I kind of have to, because it's my job, um, which is a great thing, but it's also really a bad thing because I didn't get it done and I spent all weekend um, doing it. But you know, it's great because I will always have something to remember that time instead of sitting around playing on my phone. You never get that time back. So I put it into something valuable, um, even though, and I, I will say that it took me a lot longer to do all the things because our air conditioner's out and it is hot and sweaty and you're just not motivated as much. So now that my air conditioner's fixed, I know I'm going to go a lot faster. <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> um, and then Trilby Freeman noticed that there is a floss skein on your chair and was wondering if you dropped it from a different Oh, I dropped bag. it. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm so sorry. Uh, yes, oh. that's simple. That's what I do at home all the time. That's funny. From Anita Wichello, with Prim, what is the size on 14 cal? I don't know how to figure, figure it out. So the stitched, finished, if you want to make it the really big one, like the big piece, like this, it's 14 and a half by 19 and a quarter. So you can either you do a three inch border and you would need to start with a 20 and a half by 25 and a half out, 25 inch piece. And if you do a two inch border, you just need an 18 by 24 inch piece. So um, we have another thing that came out this week. This is our cross stitch alphabet. It is a brand new PDF. It is only available as a PDF. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually do it here. I'm gonna kind of show you Ooh. how it looks. I don't wanna show you the whole thing, but there is an uppercase lowercase or no they're both uppercase but bigger and smaller and then this is the part that's amazing mm. so you can you can fit not all the letters like w wouldn't fit but most of them and you basically have this graph paper that comes with your pattern and you can pencil in your designs from over here and you can do a marquee frame a clover frame or if you have the really big letters that aren't going to fit in here, like the W, you can put it in here and you would just stitch your, in the center you would stitch your, for example, your W, then add your C, then your P, and then you add your wreath and you just expand it out. And so Teresa put together this cute little towel. So you could do your initials on a towel. The towels come in different colors. So there's just plain white, navy, orange of course i'm not naming them the same but that's kind of a it's very aqua blue but a little bit more green and a brownish tan these are called Ooh. red nancy kitchen towels and this is ada this is actual ada cloth 
It is a little bit looser weave, so it's not tight, and it's 14 count. You could use um, two strands or three strands. And what we really, so this is great, but what we really made the alphabet for was our gingham on the go bags. So you can stitch right on these bags. And I've got a pop-up image to show you what it would look like. So there you go. So you could, that's how beautiful it would look on the bag. And that is a brand new cross stitch alphabet that you can get at Fat Quarter Shop. And it's a PDF. And we spent a lot of time on this, guys. Um, we were, yeah. But I, I can't wait to do um, a bag. I'm going to do it after Jolly July. Because if I did it right now, I would never finish my Jolly July. <laughs> So uh, let me know if you have any questions on the alphabet or any of that before I show you. I still have a ton more, mm -hmm. ton more. Uh, question from Joella Brazil. Uh, for Prim, Cafe Mocha 14 count, which size do I need to order to stitch all on one piece? Oh, I, you need to order the 25 by 36 inch piece. The skew is 386-252. And that makes it big enough to um, make the full thing, or you could cut it up. And if you cut it up, you might need one pack or two pack, depends on how you do it. A uh, comment from Hannah Mansfield. My daughter made me some towels with apple cross stitch on it, and I just love it so much that I don't use it. I'm afraid to mess it up. Oh yeah, when I saw Terry's, I was like, there's no chance I would do this in my house because this <laughs> is what would happen. <laughs> Boogers. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry. That's hilarious. I mean, but I mean, I have kids, but this would look so good like on your oven, like on my oven. I don't really use the oven. My kids do, mm -hmm. but I could put it on my oven, but I know my kids would use it. No, um, they're, they think they're the, what is that show they watch? Junior Baking Champion or something like Food Network. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a really good show. It's um, really positive, but it's like kids who actually know how to cook. I sometimes think it's rigged because I'm like, I don't know how any kid this age would know how to do any of that. Yeah. Uh, from Gloria Farm Grandma, hi, can you start a Lugana club? Um, yeah, we'll put it on our list. Uh, from Anita Wicello, would you pre-wash the towels before stitching? I don't know. Probably. I mean, they're definitely washable. They're definitely meant to be used. Um, yeah, I don't, I think either before or after. And from Zoe Schultz, uh, I would like to know if you could stitch the Prim series over one instead of over two. Also, any suggestions for a simple small sewing machine to do the zigzag edges? Okay, so over one, you could. I have zero experience with over one. If you would like some advice on over one, I would go to Nicole. Let me think of her name. Oh my gosh, we might have to go to Cheryl. Can you go ask Cheryl who the, who the tutorial is by that was the over one from last week? Her name is Nicole, I think. Let me come back to that question, but I know that there's a great tutorial because I watched it, and she actually has two tutorials on it. So I would refer to her because I don't know how to do over one. And simple sewing machine, um, I mean, they sell them at like Walmart, but you just need to make sure you can get a zigzag stitch. So um, Singer, Brother, those are inexpensive. Yeah, just any sewing machine at your local store. Where you yeah, that would have yeah. a zigzag. Yeah, most of those have one. Um, Kathy Gomes said, oh, that your initials are play strong. Oh, I know they are. Sorry. Oh. Jocelyn did it, and uh, it's just a digital image, and I don't think she know <laughs> she knew that, and it was when I saw it this morning, it was too late to change. So, yes, I know. Oh. Sorry. But, yeah, I'm going to do it right. I didn't realize the last name was supposed to be, like, Yeah, so middle. neither did Jocelyn. Okay. Yeah, so you put your initial, you put your middle initial in the center and then you and then the ones mm -hmm. on um the pattern those are like my kids initials and they're just kind of thrown everywhere just for just to have their initials in there yes yes so okay and then vicky two is it nicole's needleworks i just thought of it when she came back okay nicole's <laughs> needleworks nicole's needleworks has a youtube channel and oh, she nice. um I would go to her to look at over one and she just did a new video like within the last two weeks about over one I did watch it um but I just I don't I don't know that I would enjoy it so I watched it so that I could learn a little bit 
but um, as far as doing it, I don't, I'd be too scared to do it. Okay. Um, from Jenny Lombardo, how do you finish the edges before you start? So, sometimes I do the edge and sometimes I don't. So, like for example, on this one, can you do the upper camera? Yes. Thanks. So on this one, I just did a little zigzag. And the reason I did this one is obviously it's a huge project. I'm going to be working on it forever. But for example, this one, sorry, this one, I knew I was only going to work on it a little bit. So I didn't finish the edges. So if it's just going to be a quick project, I'm not going to take the time to zigzag it because it's not going to, I mean, it unraveled a little bit, but not really. So if it's a big project, I um, would zigzag around and that is just like a, I just make a really wide stitch and a longer stitch and I just go over the edge just really quick. So I'm gonna show you the next thing is something that Cody has been working on. It is called Stitchville. It is by Thimble Blossoms, and you can get this pattern as a paper pattern or as a PDF. She is working on it on Ada. It looks really good, and that's a um, Q snap frame. And when she's working on it, she is using this, which is our brand new cross stitch prism. Yes, the cross stitch floss prism. Yes, and that is a brand new video that we came out with yesterday. So. Um, what it is, is foam core bore on the inside by Annie soft and stable on the outside so that you can put your needles in and out. Mm -hmm. And she is using our little gingham on the go bag and she's keeping her thread in this brand new, uh, it's a rotary cutter case, mm -hmm. but um, she's yeah. keeping her thread in here. So I just thought it'd be fun to show like how she has everything in her bag yes. and she just throws her prism bag, her uh, cross stitch prism in here. Ooh. So cute. And then I'm going to show you um, some other finishes that um, other people have made. So this is, Deborah made this one. It is by With Thy Needle and Thread. So and cute. it is called Project Quarantine. She stitched it on 28 count even weave from her stash and her called for floss. And it says, let's stay home and stitch. So, and then this is my favorite part of it. Look how good that looks. So she just did Deborah 2020. And then the bottom, I don't know how she did all this. It's amazing. So um, you can tell that she hand stitched it, but it's amazing. So that is one finish. The next one is Bloom. This is so cute. This so is... Cute. Bloom by Hands on Design, Priscilla Blaine. And this is one of her last chalkfuls. And she finished it on a bucket and it has a bow. So Priscilla finished this for me. And on the back, I put in one of the Lori Holt cards with all the information on it. And um, this she found, I always, we always leave these on here so that you guys can find it. So the bucket is in the spring section of Hobby Lobby. It says spring 2020, and the number is 5255393. And what I think is funny about this is when I watch Floss Tubes like Priscilla and Chelsea, they say, oh, it's in the spring section. I don't even know where that section is in the store. <laughs> so if I was going there, I wouldn't even know where to go. Kind of like you walk in, it's always on the right. I know, but there's no sign that says spring, oh, yeah. right? No. So like, I'm like, I didn't even know that there was like a division of, Yeah. I didn't, I had no idea. <laughs> so I'll put that back. The next one is the very first trucking along that I finished, which is June. It's by Stitching with the Housewives, Priscilla and Chelsea. And we have this available as a paper pattern and as a PDF. We will have more quilt kits when more chalkboard black comes in stock. And this is the one where I put Piggy on the truck. And you can go to her blog and see uh, how to make Piggy. And she has this wonderful bow and this is a ladder from Let's see. 
Hobby Lobby. The, it says Home Decor F19 Ambered Wood Collection. And the number on the bottom is 5204219. So I can either hang it or I can just put it like this. So I'll probably just put it like this. So that is June. So exciting. Thank you, Priscilla. And then this is Starlet Snowflake. This is our It's So Emma pattern. And I did this as part of Mania. Oh, so pretty. I know, it's so pretty. And so I, I used Belle Soir thread and um, she finished it for me. It looks awesome. I love it. So Christmassy. But you know, it could be like winter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's exciting. So let me know if you have any questions on any of our stitched finishes or anything that I've shown. Um, a lot of the stuff we have linked below in the description box also. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's a lot of questions that have come in here. Okay. Um, from Virginia Bovier. Hi, I am brand new to cross stitch. May I please ask, isn't Ada over one? Yes, okay. Ada is over one and linen or Lugana is over two. Yes. Uh, Gwen Smith had been saying, can't wait to hear about the recipients for Make-A-Wish, such a great charity. Yes, so we actually got a sheet to cheat uh, this week and we have done like 18 wishes <gasps> over time. And they sent us a list of every kid over all the years. Some have pictures, some don't. They have the names, the ages, if the, gra if the grant is in process, like if the wish is in process or if it's granted. Um, but I don't know that we can show that online just mm -hmm. for kids' privacy. Yeah. Um, but it was really nice to, like, get that and read about, because I could read about each kid. Wow. Um, and some of them I didn't even know about. Like, some of them are, like, new wishes that we didn't even know about yet. Oh, my gosh. I but we got try chills. To, yeah, but we try to do them, like, around the area, like Austin, Kyle. There, there's a new one in Kyle. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, from Annie Street, Kimberly, how do you avoid being overwhelmed by the number of projects you have logged in your journals? I don't. I am overwhelmed. It's, uh, <laughs> it's okay um, because there's a lot of stuff not even in my journals that's sitting. I just always have to be busy. If I didn't have stuff to do, I would be crazy. Um, and we can't really go anywhere. Like, um, we can't do anything. So, like, I'm using my time to get stuff done that I wouldn't – I would normally just be a taxi. I mean, that's what I call myself. I just want to put on my car taxi or like um, they think they're my boss. Like they think they need to tell me what to do. That's what I want to put on my car. Oh, they, yeah, they're going crazy because they're getting on each other's nerves. And it's so funny. It's not that it is. Oh. Sometimes when I come home, I'm like, really? Like, really? Really? Mm -hmm. I left for how long? Come on. Like when I go to work and I come back, I'm like, you're fighting about what? Like, that's the stupidest <laughs> thing I've ever heard of. Like, get, separate yourselves. <laughs> separate. It's in corners. That's funny. Uh, from Vicky Tusek, how do you get the creases out? If you're okay, so what I usually do, I usually don't iron before I start. Sometimes I will if I'm in the room and the iron's already on. But over time, it'll just kind of un Un, um, unwrinkle itself and at the end I'll just do a there's a yarn tree pressing cloth that we sell I'll put um, a white towel on the bottom the fabric and then the pressing and then press it and um, just over time but I wouldn't press it too too hard because you don't want it to like scorch mm -hmm. uh, Amy Demand said the mom mobile That's... yes though yes I have yeah I have <laughs> comments on um, they think they know everything. I'm like, like yesterday, Emma was like, you don't know, mom. I was like, I do know. I do know. You want to get this straight? Because I do know. And you need to listen. That's what I wanted to tell her. But I couldn't. But I'm sure she's watching. So I do know what I'm talking about. But kids think that you're like, I'm like, what? I was your age one time. I know exactly what's going on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They think that I don't know anything. <laughs> Uh, from Virginia Bovier, please, can you do a tutorial on the super cute Let's Stay Home pillow? I can ask Deborah, um, but that's way out of my league. Oh. That's way out of my league. Um, we can ask Deborah. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be anytime soon because she's customer service, and mm -hmm. so, like, we've got to get our customer service done. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know how to do that, but mm -hmm. we could ask her if she wants to. Yeah. From Lynn Paz, 
Uh, what do you print out the PDFs on? Is it just plain cardstock or glossy? We have fancy paper here that we print our It's So Emma papers on, our It's So Emma patterns on. So that's what we print them on for me. If I'm going to, if I buy a PDF, that's what I'll print them on. Mm -hmm. But if I'm at home, I'll just print it on my printer paper mm -hmm. and then just fold it up. It just, it's honestly wherever I'm at. Like if Priscilla and Chelsea do the new pattern and they email it to me, I'll just print it on whatever. But yeah. if I'm here, I'll print it on something fancier because mm -hmm. it's here. Mm -hmm. But at home, I just have printer paper and now at home I have sticker paper and I have children that are doing stickers and that's so awesome because they use all my ink <laughs> are they, they putting the stickers everywhere oh no they oh, know good. better okay. they know better I caught oh no that's what I did as a kid oh no <laughs> we would have no yeah no my, no my stickers were everywhere and I got no she trouble. got them on she put them on the on her mirror and I was like you need to take those off so they need to be off um, but that was a long time ago. But yes, they're going to come off because no. All right. Uh, from Pat Sundy, will the chalkboard black be coming back soon? Yes, uh, they're behind. Witchell is behind three weeks. We have ordered it. And so as soon as they can get it to us, they will. Um, we can follow up with them again today. But they're just super behind because of everything going on in the world. They're just super behind. But we do have like, I don't know, like 500 on order or something crazy. Mm -hmm. From Jenny Lombardo, any chance to make a button pack for Gingerbread Village from the Just Another Button Company set? Gingerbread Village. Okay, so Denise, can you just email and um, email Cecile and just ask if there is one, and if there is, we'll buy it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there is. We might we might just sell them individually, but yes, we'll try to get the pack. So the next thing I worked on, because, oh my goodness, like what I showed you was not enough, right? <laughs> so uh, this is actually a bag that is... A it's a pattern Bev McCullough from singing from Flamingo Toes yes. made it for me and this is her so she's doing a sew along or stitch along for singing in the rain this is her pattern and we sell it as a paper and a PDF and so I am doing it in my colors with aura floss it oh, looks so cute so pretty i know i'm so excited so um what i did is uh, on this one that i did a little bit different is she had done a back stitch all the way around the rain boots and i decided i didn't need to do that so i didn't and then she has really it's here somewhere or did we mail it back oh the singing in the rain i'm going to show you the difference that i did um, so on the bottom of her boots, she put little brown, um, I don't know, like little, I don't know what you would call them, but they're just little brown things. So you can see the little brown, I don't know if they're like heels. I don't know. She put little brown things on the bottom of her boots. And I said, I don't have brown, so I'm not going to do that. And I left them. <laughs> and I asked Emma, I said, do they look, what do they look like? Do they look like rain boots? And she said, yes. So I said, okay, we're good. Yeah. And then I'm just leaving um, all my aura floss like this. And then when I'm done, I will just wrap what um, I don't use back onto my spools. Mm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and then this week, so that is a sew along. And then this week is going to be the pinwheels. So I decided to do three different, um, I can't even, I think I'm doing three different blues across like she did. So that's super fun. And then I'm gonna show you again the cross stitch floss prism. So these are a couple of them and this is how you make them. So you can use it to put your pins in. We just made a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you, you can, can make one your, in like less than 10 minutes. Yep. And, um, so we have a brand new video on our channel of that. So we would love for you guys to make the floss prism. Hashtag, let us see what you made. Super easy to make. You can put um, your floss with no needle if you wanted to just put your floss around it and you can just throw it in your bag. Like it's totally, totally fun. So that's our brand new video. And then last week we did a video on how to use the brand new cross stitch line keepers. If you haven't tried them, they're super awesome. I mean, they are our product to be clear, but they're awesome. <laughs> and what you do is you put them on your pattern and it keeps track of where you're at. So those are two brand new videos on our channel. Of course, subscribe to our channel. We would love to have more subscribers. Some new stuff that we have is Shannon Christine has some new patterns. This is Thankful. 
it's very quilty and I've seen so many people stitching it and she also has rustic Christmas and on this one what's great is you could do them as one or you could do them individually another pattern that I really love is Quaker pumpkin by Liz Matthews I think that's very um, I don't know very quilty very modern very everything I love it mm -hmm. and then we also got in the uh, brand new Little House Needleworks post office so uh, that's from the hometown holiday she just keeps adding to that and then super exciting we got in the brand new in NP well they're not brand new they're brand new to us NPI silks so this is an eight ply silk and I'm just gonna show you some of the colors and so this is all brand new it's not on the what's new page just because that would be 500 items on the what's new page so just search NPI silks now this is a little bit different because it's eight strand and they don't call it, um, for example, it's color 115. So it doesn't have a color name. It's just a number. And then they tell you Mediterranean blue range, azure range, hot pink range. So there's ranges, but there's no color name per skein, but they do have ranges and we will be doing some stuff with those ranges later. Um, but it's just a really nice silk. We got a lot of questions for it I am going to try it out on Stitchville Ooh. which is this pattern so um, I'm gonna try it out because I would like to give a review of what I think of it how it stitches um, that is um, way down on my list though um, until Jolly July is done mm -hmm. and then our flash sale for today is the Quaker heart quilt kit Quaker heart cross stitch kit is stitcher hood and so um, this is the stitcher hood pattern and in it we have the white 10 count cloth and we have thread inside here and there it is look how pretty it is so Shelby made that sample and um, that is what you can make with the kit and so once the kit's gone since it's a flash sale it will be gone forever we will keep the pattern in stock but not the kit and then the next item is Santa's tree farm by with thy needle that's also on flash sale today so let me know if you'll have any questions. Um, I know on the NPI silk, um, it's just all brand new to me and I haven't tried it yet, but it's supposed to be wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that Cheryl, um, Cheryl does a lot of um, intricate stuff. So I'm sure Cheryl will also be making samples with it also. Mm -hmm. All right, from mom, my thread gets really wrinkled when unwound off its plastic bobbin. How do you get the wrinkles out? I don't use plastic bobbins. Let's see. Um, can you hand me my bags? I'll show you what I use. Sorry, I'll use this one. So what I use, I don't use plastic bobbins. I use this, which is um, floss flowers by yes. Be My Bonnet, and um, I don't have wrinkles, so I don't know how to answer that. Um, but I don't. I don't ever notice, so I don't know. Anybody know how to answer that? Answer for me because I don't know yeah I don't ever have wrinkles in mine um, I don't know if the curve on ours is not as harsh I don't know um, but I don't ever notice any um, wrinkles but I haven't tried cardboard floss bobbins yet I wonder because when we first started doing floss tubes you showed a technique where you would cut it and then like let it hang I don't know if that would help yeah like let it just let it lay out maybe yeah I definitely wouldn't iron my thread that would be way too much work <laughs> that would be it would uh, be too much work. A few people are suggesting thread magic. Okay, so thread magic is like a floss conditioner, and I love it, and you could use that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, from Debbie DeRogi, do you know when the floss kits will be back in stock for Kringle? If it's only missing one color, can we purchase it anyway? You can't purchase it anyway because it's not complete, but uh, we can... Uh, I know that we're waiting on some, I don't know the answer off the top of my head uh, since Denise is not standing right here. So I don't know the <laughs> answer, but um, I know we had some last week, but I mean, it's kind of one of those things that you could buy it, you could look at what's included and then buy it individually without that skew and just buy it per skew. You could try that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But everything is in um, short supply, fabric, floss, notions, rotary cutters, thread, everything. So um, I would just get it while you, you know, get it while you, where you see it. 
from Carol Johnson. Do you sell the wool needed for wool applique? I can't find it anywhere. We do have some wool bundles. We have some Lori Holt wool bundles and we have some Joanna Figaro wool bundles. The Joanna bundles are actually Weeks Dye Works wool. If you just search wool fabric or wool bundle, um, we don't sell wool by the yard, but I think we have about five or six bundles in stock. Um, we have two Lori Holt and I believe three or four Joanna nice. bundles. Uh, from Diana G, do you have preferences of using frames to hold fabric or do you prefer to a uh, handhold while stitching? So I handhold now um, and I just, uh, there's a video that uh, Priscilla and Chelsea did that's on our FlossTube channel and um, they talk about stitching in hand. It took me about two weeks to get the hang of it, but it's a lot easier because you see all these bags that I have. Let me see them. Like, this is me every day. Sorry. This is like me literally <laughs> every day walking into work. <laughs> sometimes they're in a bigger bag. Yeah, and sometimes they're in my laundry. Oh, yeah. Laundry basket? What do you call yeah, that? It's a laundry basket, yeah. Yeah. So, like, if I had hoops in this, it would just be out of control. Yes. So, um... Yeah, I just stitch in hand, but I think you should do whatever whatever you're most comfortable with. If you want to use a Q-snap, use a Q-snap. Cheryl uses a spring tension hoop. Um, so whatever you're most comfortable with, you shouldn't do something just because somebody else does it that way. Um, I, my goal is to do everything as fast as I can. And we've had so many comments that say, well, why? It takes the joy out of it. I'm like, no, it doesn't take the joy. It makes it better because I finish and I can go to my next project. So like to me, it doesn't take, going faster doesn't take the joy out at all. It makes it so much better because I just want to be efficient. It's kind of like, um, sometimes I've said in my life, like assembly line. My life is run by an assembly line. Like that's how I think of things. Like even with my kids, like assembly line, how are we gonna do this? Boom, we gotta get it done. Like that's just how my mind thinks. So the faster and more efficient I can be in anything that I do makes me happier which is probably different than other people think, but um, yeah, I'm always assembly line. Like, that's just how my mind thinks. Like, even how you do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining Jolly July. I've loved seeing all your progress, um, and I will be busy stitching until I see you next week. Right, bye, everyone.